Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be finally addressing a question that I've been getting a lot from you guys. It is regarding my Afonopelma Samani female who went through an awful molt. But before we do that, I do have both of my tarantulas that I picked up from the Show Me Snake Show on Sunday to rehouse. The two that I will be rehousing into my new enclosures are my Seracopelma rubron my Seracopelma rubronitans and my Papalopus species Columbia, and then I'm gonna put the new edition in the old, their old ones. Does that make sense? So let's do that first. <laughs> let's go. So basically, I found my Afonopelma Samani adult female dead a couple weeks ago. She was in complete death curl in the corner of her enclosure. I will insert images throughout this story, but totally unresponsive. Like, I sprayed her with water, I shook the enclosure around a little bit, and I was just like, Meh. like, this sucks. So I had never lost a tarantula in my collection before. That's me knocking on wood. So I wasn't sure what I was going to do with her body. Like I know some people display them or they will preserve them. I wasn't sure what route I was going to take. So I just left her in her enclosure overnight to like think about it. The next morning when I got up, she was obviously still there dead. And I went about my day just kind of trying to decide what to do. And I thought, okay, I guess I'll just pop her in the freezer tonight. Go to pull her out and she is alive and it was crazy because she was like molting so I get a better look at her and I see that she has molted upright but her abdomen is still stuck in the old exoskeleton now at this point I was a little freaked out I really wish I grabbed the camera to record this but honestly filming was one of the last things on my mind at the time my main concern was to get her out safe I got a wet paintbrush and I carefully was trying to peel the old exoskeleton off of her abdomen. Ended up getting the entire abdomen off besides I think a little piece which is still under her. But I mainly achieved this by holding the molt down and letting her naturally like run away and pull herself out if that makes any sense. So the next day I noticed that she wasn't able to really walk right. She, her back four legs are like really jelly and as you see she doesn't really walk normal. I also noticed what looked like an injury on her abdomen, probably from removing the old exoskeleton. So I dusted her abdomen with cornstarch. If you're not familiar, cornstarch is actually a really great way to fix an injury on a tarantula. It will make it to where they, they will stop leaking hemolymph because they don't have the ability to clot their blood. She's definitely not normal. She is not normal at all, you guys. Like, her back four legs, she walks really messed up. It's like, she walks like a jellyfish is the best way I can explain it. But she's alive. And I wanted to see if she would eat within a reasonable amount of time after the molt. She did. She ate a live cricket, which is awesome. That makes her prognosis so much better. Now the goal is to get her to her next molt and hope that it goes well. Now, what do I think happened? I have no clue, but I think 
it was a wet molt. And I say this because when I did get her abdomen out of the old exoskeleton, it was like all wet. A wet molt is caused when there is hemolymph, which is like their blood, trapped between the old exoskeleton and the new exoskeleton. So when there's that layer of hemolymph there, that can be caused by an old injury, which we do know she had, or any other number of things. Wet molts generally are fatal, but it is possible for them to live, and I think that is what happened. If I'm totally off here, feel free to comment down below, but that is the whole story, and she's doing really good considering everything now. I, I cannot believe the recovery she's made. She still doesn't walk right, but she's eating and she's adventuring around her enclosure and she's functioning, and that is way more than I thought would come out of this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are not and you would like to be, and I will see you guys soon. She's just never been a worm girl.